sit. Just sit. So what happened was, when you win the Grey Cup, like the BC Lions did, every player gets a day with the Cup. And uh, James Yurichuk took his day with Bradley Friesen because they thought they'd shoot some really cool footage on the top of a mountain. But as you saw right there uh, in the text, when they were celebrating, <sighs> meaning drinking perhaps a little bit, uh, they lost two of the three memory cards. But it is becoming legendary in Vancouver on a cover of the few papers. We are joined now by Bradley and James. Gentlemen, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, Very well, thank celebrating. You. How did that work out for you guys? <laughs> we, had, we had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> we, some of the pictures we got that night are pretty epic too. That Those will go down in, uh, in history that we can't really show either. But. It's um, it was uh, it was a lot. Nine bars, three yeah. cabs, uh, two restaurants. So the memory cards could be really anywhere. Oh yeah, uh, back of a cab, on the streets, in a sewer. Who knows at this point? I could have hid them on myself. You could have. <laughs> now, James, as I said, every player uh, gets to take the cup for a day. First of all, what was it like to win the Grey Cup? Oh, it was unbelievable. Like it's the grand scale of things in Canadian football, and then I got a chance to play in the game, and then uh, winning it, hoisting it in the game. That's what you dream of as a kid. Yeah, and then uh, how did you guys hook up anyway, you and Bradley, to do this? To Mutual take friend, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we actually got set at the kids' table because the table we both got there late, and the table was full. Yeah. So we got set at the kids' we're the, tables. We're the outcasts, and then <laughs> we bonded that way. Yeah. Now, uh, Bradley, tell us a little bit more about what your plan originally was, and where you went, and what you shot. Um, basically, my plan was to do something that I mean, I've seen pictures of the Stanley Cup on top of a mountain. I've seen you know some pictures and stuff out there, but I've never seen something that's really cinematic, and and so. Um, I wanted to do something for James, you know, the, the original intention was to do something for James to commemorate the fact that he won. And uh, we and went now back. he'll never forget. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to imagine waking up that morning and realizing, oh my God. So you guys shot three memory cards. Yeah. Obviously you lost yeah. two of the, the three, but what was that moment like, Bradley, when you realized that they weren't there? I felt like such an idiot. I mean, how do you how do you go from having the best day ever and telling James like you're gonna remember this forever? James, did you want to kill him? Uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, for a second I did, but uh, it, I put it on me. Like uh, he's a pilot. We know pilots have a reputation for getting drunk. I should have just took him <laughs> the memory cards for myself. Not yeah, well flying not while flying, but afterwards. So twelve hours bottle to throttle. Now, the footage was lost, the original footage, but you guys had an opportunity on Saturday to go and do uh, some reshoots. James, just as fun as the first time around? Oh, yeah, even better. Most beautiful day, like you can imagine, out in the mountains. And the fellows were nice enough to give you the Grey Cup one more time so you could do the reshoots? Yeah, my buddy Lule, gave, uh, there's a six hour gap that he didn't need it, so I just <laughs> borrowed it from him. Nice guy. So he really is a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> now, Bradley, the reshoots, uh, are you guys, what are you guys gonna do now? You're gonna edit it with the first card? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna edit the first card. We're still hoping to get the other two cards back. I mean, they're somewhere in Vancouver. Somebody has them in a junk drawer or um, somebody you know, doesn't know what they have. Or a cabbie could look in his car and have them and not know yeah. what they actually are. Any taxi driver, because all three taxis pose with the cup, any taxi driver with a picture of the Grey Cup, please look in your cab. You guys took the Grey Cup out with you that night too? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't realize that. Oh no, we took, it to, we took the Grey Cup. <laughs> At least you didn't lose that, James. You would be in big trouble. Oh yeah. Well, I think if you guys saw the footage of our night, you'd be equally as impressed <laughs> as the video you just saw now. I'm, is there a reward for this? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take somebody, whoever finds it, I'd uh, gladly take them up in the helicopter and take them back to the spot where we filmed everything. 
Now, uh, Bradley, I forgot to mention that this is not your first uh, time on Urban Rush. You were on our show back in 1994. I was reminded this morning because you did what? <laughs> um, I won a craft dinner contest and I <laughs> beat a four-year-old named Haley who tap danced how she loved her craft dinner. And uh, I kind of kicked her butt. And this involved a helicopter too. <laughs> this involved a helicopter, yeah. Um, yeah, me and, a, me and a friend back then, I had just done my skydiving license. and. Um, so I had skydiving on the brain, and we did one where he jumps out of the helicopter and we race for the last box of craft dinner. And, and uh, then you got your prize was to be on our show. The, it was the grand prize. I mean, it was the grand prize. Awesome. Screw the $10,000. <laughs> I was on the Mike and Fiona. Now, James, uh, you got to have the Grey Cup. You got to hoist it on the top of a mountain. You got to do it again. Now, people try and create legends with uh, their day with the Cup. You guys have kind of done it by accident. What What has this whole experience been like for you, top to bottom, since you guys won the game? Well, uh, after we won the game, I called up Brad. I'm like, hey, come out. Come celebrate. He's like, uh, hey, if you get the Cup, you can come up with me. I'll take you up in a helicopter ride. I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, create some sweet Facebook photos. Like. <laughs> My friends will love it. Now you guys are in newspapers, not just on Facebook. Everybody's talking about the video, and we'd love it if somebody can find If they do find it, where do they email Bradley? Uh, Greycupcards at gmail.com or uh, James Ur at James Urchuk47 and at Bradley Friesen. We've got it on the screen for you right now. You can uh, find them on Twitter. If you find two memory cards, we're talking about those little tiny memory cards. If you're a cabbie, uh, how many bars? Nine bars? Nine bars. One of, can you Granville. name them? Yeah, um, SIP, uh, Factory. I'm going to guess the Roxy was in there. I don't know. If we went no. to the pizza place next to the Roxy. We know that. We, uh, we I don't Republic. know was the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Somewhere on Granville Street. Please check. Uh, send an email if you guys find them because it would be absolutely amazing if they got their original footage back. But you guys are re-editing. And when can we see the new video? Um, we were planning to have it for today, but uh, we have so much footage. It's going to be another, another couple days. Well, thank you so much, you guys, and I hope you find We're going to take a quick break. And by the way, Brad will take you up in his chopper if you, if you find them. Is that true? Absolutely. Just found that out right now. You get a free chopper ride with this man. Hopefully he doesn't lose you. We're going to take a break and we'll return.